So I am reading the Rex Car Children's one, and I hope you like it. And it's gonna be chapter one, so. Okay. You ready? What? One, the four hungry ch hungry children. One warm night, four, four children stood in front of a bakery. No one knew them. No one knew they they no one had knew come, where from, they come from. Where they come from? The baker's wife saw them first as they stood looking at the window of her store. store. Remember, period after store. Stop for a second, then go on of her store. The little boy was looking at the cakes. The big boy was looking at the lovely no, loaves. loaves of bread. Good. And two girls were looking at the cookies. Cookies. Now the baker's wife did not like children. She did not like boys at all. So she came to the front of the bakery and lis Listen. listened, looking very cross. The cake is good, Jesse, the little boy said. He was about five years old. He yes, Benny said, the big girl, but bread in is butter for better. better for you. Isn't it... Isn't, isn't it, Henry? Oh, yes, said Henry. We must have some bread and cake. Cake is not good for Benny, Benny and Violet. Benny and Violet. I don't... You're right. I like bread. Bread. Best anyway. Um, said, Violet. said Violet. She was about ten years old, and she had pretty brown hair and brown eyes smiling at her. Let's go into the bakery. Maybe they will let us here. Here. Let's stay here. Stay here for the night. The baker's wife. Wife looked at them as much as they as came they in. came in. I want three loaves of bread, please," said Jess, Jessie. She came smiling politely at the woman, but the woman did not smile. She looked at Henry as he put his hand in his pocket for the money. She looked cross, but she. Stole, sold the, him the bread. Jesse was looking around to, and she saw a long red bench under each window of the bakery. The benches had flat, 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 flat red pillows on them. Will you let us stay here for the night? Jesse asked. We can could sleep on those benches, and tomorrow we would help you wash the dishes and do the things for you. Now the woman liked this. She did not like to wash the dishes very well. She would. She would like like to have a big boy to help her with her work. Where are your father and mother, she said. They are dead, said Henry. We have a grandfather and green field, but we don't like him, said Benny. Jessie put her hand over the little boy's mouth before he could say more. Oh, Benny, keep still, she said. Why don't you like your grandfather? Grandfather asked the woman. He is so. He's our father's father. He's our father's father, and he didn't like our mother. Mother said Henry, so we don't think 
he would like us. We are afraid he would be mean to us. Do you ever see him? asked the woman. No, answered Henry. Then why do you think he would be mean to you? asked the woman. Well, he never came to see us, said Henry. He doesn't like us at all. Where, where did you live before you came here? asked the woman. Woman, but not one of the four children would tell her. Well, get along all right, said Jessie. We want to stay here for only one night. You may stay here tonight, said the woman at last. And tomorrow we'll see what we can do. Henry thanked her politely. We are all pretty tired and hungry, he said. The children sat down on the floor. Henry cut one of the loaves of bread into four pieces with his knife. knife, And the children began to eat. Delicious, said Henry. Well, I've never said I... The woman, she went into the next room sh and shut the door. I'm glad she is gone, re remarked Benny, eating his... She doesn't like us. She doesn't like us. Benny said, Jesse, she is good to let us sleep here after after super supper. after supper. The children lay down. There, there are benches, and Violet and Benny soon went to sleep. But Jesse and Henry could hear the woman taking. Talking. talking to the bar baker. baker, she said, I'll keep the three older children. They can help me, but the little boy must go the children's to the home children's to the children's home. He is too little. I cannot take care of him. The bakery it, the the, the baker answered, Very well. Tomorrow I'll take the little boy to the children's home. We'll keep the others for a while, but we must, we must make them tell us who their grandfather is. Jesse and Henry wa waited until the bakery and his wife, ba baker, baker and his wife, had gone to bed. Then they sat up in the dark. Oh, Henry whispered, Jesse, let's run away for, from here. Yes, indeed, said Henry. Well, never let Benny go to the children's home. Never, never. We must be far away by morning, or they will find us. But we must not leave Jesse. We must leave any of our things here. Any of our things here. Jesse sat down still, thinking, our, our clothes and a cake of, of soup and towels are in the big laundry bag. She said, Violet has her little work bag and he, and we have two loaves of bread left. Have you your have you your knife and the money? Yes, said Henry. I have almost four dollars. You must carry. You must. Yeah, you must carry Benny. You must carry Benny, said Jesse. He will cry if we wake him up. But I'll wake Violet. Shh, Violet. Come. Violet, come. Violet, come. We are going to run away again. 
if we don't run away, the bakery will take Benny to the children's home in the morning. The little girl woke up at once. She sat up and rolled off the bench. She did not make any noises. What shall I do? she whispered softly. Carry this, said Jessie. She gave her the work bag. Jessie put the two loaves of bread into the laundry bag, and then she looked around the room. All, all right, she said to Henry. Take Benny now. He, Henry took Benny in his arms and carried him to the door of the bakery. Jessie took the laundry bag and opened the door very softly, and the children went out quickly. They did not say a word. Jesse shut the door, and they all listen. listened. Everything was very quiet, so the four children went down the stairs. The street. The street. Okay, this is chapter two, so we can stop chapter there. Two. Okay. Good okay. job. I'm proud of you. Yay, Stand up. I did it. Thank you. <laughs> Alrighty, and that is first chapter of the boxcar children that Gracie is reading to us. Okay, and then next time we are going to be on chapter two, night is turned into day. Okay, thanks everybody. Tell everybody bye.